This is an old style golf trolley uh, made by Hillbilly. It's called the compact model, but it's the old style and it's not working because the handle's broken off and the electric control has come off too. This isn't the original electric control, by the way. I've changed this once before. If you're changing just the electrical speed control, the on off and speed control, then all you need to do is do the electric piece in the middle. You don't need to change the whole handle. I'm removing the piece of old handle that is left on. It's attached to the metal by two screws on the top and also two screws underneath. And it comes away. It's actually well um, molded, so it fits on very nicely and holds itself in place. And the holes you have to use to put it back in absolutely line up. So that's the good news. Bad news is these handles are hard to get hold of. This is a reconditioned one that's been repainted and all we've got to do is put it back. The only thing that's holding these screws into the handle are the paint. Um, so literally we're gonna just release them. The four other holes you see in the handle piece are the bolts that hold the handle together. So once it's separated, we're going to fit one of the new sides onto the metal frame. And this is where you can choose which way round you want the handle. I'm choosing this way. The choice is also, if you remember, which hand you use it on and which finger you use to spin it. You'll get used to it, but let's try it this way first. Just to make sure it doesn't keep dropping off. There you go. Now I am by no means an expert. Just a do-it-yourself repair man. In fact, I used to be a stunt man and I write thrillers. I have six cruise crime novels, which I'd love you just to look at the reviews. Uh, if you picked up one and read it, I'd be really, really pleased. So I've trimmed the wires back and screwed them into the terminal block and followed the coloring that they seem to use on the spares diagram, red, blue, green. But hopefully I've saved you some money with this golf trolley so a Kindle won't be too much of a stretch. We're going to twist and there we go. The wheels are working perfectly. So the switch works, the electrics work, uh, red, blue, green. Actually, if I swapped the red and the green over, leaving the blue in the middle, I could probably make the switch go the other way around. Uh, that would be a fun experiment. The actual trolley works. We just need to make sure the handle is nice and firmly reattached. So pushing this in, and it kind of fits. It's got its own way of fitting. Once it's there, it's there. Now I had a, a one a screw in the end just to give it um, some bite. There's a piece of cable just proud. I'm going to tuck it in and you'll see the handle then just clips back together nicely. Nuts and bolts in and the job's done. That's the longer screw that goes there. We'll just get that one in. And um, another bolt. And we're kind of all done. I guess the next thing to do is take it out on the golf course. If you love a great thriller with some pumping action, and twists and turns that keep you wanting to go on to the next page, then Cruise Ship Heist is probably the book for you. And it happens on a cruise ship.